There's a sticky note on the door that says, would you consider a cash offer for your property? Looks like it's been there for a while. It's got boarded up windows, a crazy overgrown lawn, no car in the driveway. So this is probably abandoned, but we'll make sure with a neighbor. How are you, sir? I'm good, man. I just had a question for you. This house over here, the one with the really tall yard, uh -huh. does anyone live in there? No, the guy that used to live there passed away about four years ago now. Any of the neighbors would care if I just cleaned it up for the neighborhood? I don't imagine nobody would mind if you feel so moved to go ahead and clean it up and by all means be my guest. He was sick, man. He was sick for a couple of years. And I used to go over there and mow his yard every time I mow mine. Mm -hmm. I go over there and mow his yard. Wouldn't charge him a dime, you know, because that's just a neighborly thing to do. So if you feel like that's what's in your heart, go ahead. <laughs> There's a sidewalk. It runs the whole length of the front yard. Hey everyone, Spencer here with SV Mowing and I have a really special yard for you today. I found this one while driving around with my wife and saw that the lawn was crazy, crazy tall and so I decided to go and knock on the door. I got to the porch and decided not to knock because I could tell it was vacant. There was no car in the driveway, the windows were boarded up and there were notes on the door for people wanting to buy the property. So I decided to talk to the neighbor right across the street and he told me so much about this house. The owner got pretty sick and passed away four years ago and the neighbor would help him out every week by mowing his lawn while he was still alive. But after he past the family ransacked the house and they haven't been back to clean up the yard. It's gotten too out of control for him and the city barely takes care of it. So I'm really really happy that I could clean this house up not only for this man but all the neighbors surrounding this house. And this lawn was a crazy one and there was even a sidewalk going down the entire front yard that I had no idea was even there. So be sure to watch the entire video to see all the edging, all the mowing, and a few crazy things that happened to me on this yard. Anyways if you haven't done so yet the best way for you to support this work that I do is go down below and click that subscribe button for me. And if you want, I love reading the comments, so leave one down below. Anyways, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week, and I'll see you next Friday. SB Mowing, out. When I'm out mowing in the heat for long periods of time, I love coming home to some amazing food. 
I've been trying out Cook Unity, which is the first ever chef to consumer platform, and I'm really excited to tell you more about it. Cook Unity connects a diverse group of talented chefs that cook delicious, inventive meals fresh every day in regional micro kitchens, not warehouse production facilities. Cook Unity chefs offer up a wide range of meals with over seven dietary preference filters, including vegan, paleo, and gluten free options. The subscription is also super flexible, and you can pause, skip weeks, or cancel at any time. It's up to you. Today, I'm trying out the Tuscan butter chicken with cherry tomatoes and broccolini made by Chef Andre Mendez in Austin, Texas. The chicken was really tender and the sauce was full of flavor. Also, the menu is always changing and you get to make weekly selections of different handcrafted meals. And some of my other favorite meals that I tried were the beer braised pot roast made by Chef Chris Rattel and my favorite, the sizzling lamb tikka masala made by Chef Banu Kakarapathi and Chef Brad Turner. I'm personally really impressed with Cook Unity and always want to bring a value to my viewers with the sponsor that I love. So be sure to go to cookunity.com slash SBMowing50 or click the link in the description below and use my code SBMowing50 to get 50% off your first order of Cook Unity meals and try them out for yourself. So thank you so much to Cook Unity for supporting my work and sponsoring this video and let's get back to this cleanup. <laughs>
All right, everyone, it is looking so good so far. And after I got done trimming up the trees, I went and grabbed my edging equipment and I was gonna start putting it away, but I felt like a rock here in the yard. So I tried to go check out a little bit more and tried to kick around for it and couldn't really find it. So I got my shovel and look what happened. And so I went up with my shovel and I just started tapping around. There's a sidewalk. It runs the whole length of the front yard and goes all the way out here to the street. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this whole sidewalk uncovered and the little bit that goes up to the street right here. And then we'll finally get the mower to cut this down. I'm not gonna bag it, but I think I'm gonna rake it up just to get rid of the debris. And we're gonna make this look so good. Let's do it.
All right, so we just got done taking all the clippings out of the front yard. I actually took them to the back corner of the backyard so they can decompose back there. I spread them out real thin, and then the front lawn is going to look really good for the neighbors. But I did want to take about 30 seconds and tell you about two new pieces of equipment that I'll be trying out for the next few videos. The first one is the Reach Right. It's a handle that attaches to any tool, a weed eater, a shovel, a rake. You can attach this thing to anything and help you stand up a little bit more straight. The other one is the Chore Warrior. This is an electric wheelbarrow. It's got a battery and a motor down here and controls up by my hand and it'll move automatically for me. So by using both of these, I'm hoping that I can save a lot more energy while doing these crazy cleanups. And I'm not sponsored by either of these companies, but they both reached out to me and said, hey, we think our product could really help you do your jobs easier. So they sent me some and I'll be trying them out. I may keep using them, I may not, we'll see. But thank you Troy Warrior and thank you Retrite. We're gonna get to blowing and get done with this lawn. We'll see you then. Yeah, that's me. That's crazy. I always watch your videos. Do you? Yes, because they're always so satisfying to watch and see how you cut the grass. This yard has been like that for so long. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh my God, it was so nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. I'm Spencer. What's your name? I'm Leticia. I live right there. Hey! Hey, world. <laughs> All right, nice meeting you.